Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rekt Capital. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. We're going to be talking about Ethereum and its price action relative to what we spoke about a few days back last week. Let's have a look at what has happened since then, because in the previous video, we were talking about a triangular structure. This pendant like formation broke out and we were going to be looking at this 391 resistance, which is essentially the bottom of this sideways channel, this being the sideways channel, multi-week consolidation within here, and then a breakdown from here, and then relief, a relief rally just to test this previous support as a new resistance, just to reject price once again. And as we know, this was indeed the breakout, 391 on the spot, rejecting and price has even lost the 360 levels. So since then, indeed, post breakout relief rally into the bottom of this sideways channel, old support over here has turned into new resistance, rejecting price towards the downside. That's essentially what's going on at the moment. And a key realization for me has been the fact that we need to stick to our plan. 391 was a crucial trend a decision. It was going to be a key level for the trend and it rejected from then. I don't want to be in a position past 391. So it's so important that I stuck to my plan because rejecting from here has led to some significant downside. So if you're following your plan, follow it to a T because you can potentially avoid further downside. But at the same time, once you reach your target, avoid the coin altogether. Yes, that coin made you some money but avoid that coin altogether because we're probably going to see further downside there and we just have to avoid it and wait for an opportunity to present itself later down the line, even if that opportunity doesn't present itself. And it hasn't been presenting itself for a while now for Ethereum. I still feel like we could see some more downside going forward. But the main thing I want to mention to you guys is sticking to your plan is part of a risk management strategy because it doesn't matter how much Bitcoin you make through trading, the market is designed to take that Bitcoin away. So you have to follow through on your risk management strategy, whether that's sticking to your plan, whether that's position sizing, or whether that's having a stop loss strategy. It's all relevant. It's very important to learn these habits just to develop that personal risk management strategy because making profits, making more Bitcoin is one thing, but understanding how to keep that Bitcoin is another. Preserving that capital because Previously, for the past few weeks, we were in a period of capital maximization. We were looking for how to make the most out of these gains when it comes to altcoins, Ethereum, Bitcoin. We saw a lot of exuberance enter into the market, a lot of risk seeking across traders and investors. But now we're in a period where we need to preserve those profits and preserve that capital that we have now just to fight for another day, just to be prepared and have that ammo to make the most of it once a opportunity presents itself on the retrace. That's why I want to talk to you guys a bit about my course right here. I'm proud to say that this is a five star course where I cover so many different things like how to time your exposure to altcoins for maximum profitability, how to predict when to de-risk on time before we see a movement in Bitcoin, whether that's to the upside or to the downside, how to protect your capital by de-risking here is an overview of the course. It's a fantastic resource. So feel free to check out the course in the link in the description down below. It will save you thousands of dollars and it will save you countless hours of trying to figure out this risk management stuff for yourself. And my risk management strategy actually helped me to avoid this downside on Ethereum, to actually profit take at this very important level and be prepared to fight another day because that's essentially what we're looking for right now because the last chance for Ethereum to have any semblance of bullish momentum left in this recent move up, it needs to hold this weekly higher low. That's the last chance because if we break down from here, then we'll probably see further downside for Ethereum. This is the last chance for Ethereum to showcase any bullish momentum. And at the moment, this is a post crash relief rally. It could rally to as little as this weekly higher low, just to test it into resistance before falling deeper. But at the same time, we could rally to 360, as far as 360, just to turn it into a resistance and of course, see a further downside. So at the moment, it does look like Ethereum is setting itself up for a bit of relief going into this week. But at the same time, 
360 continues to remain a strong resistance on the quarterly chart. Remember guys, we're zooming out here, three month time frame, quarterly chart. In the past, we've seen resistance at this 360 level, even higher than that, of course. But this is the resistance that we're paying attention to at the moment. This is a source of rejection. Here it's a source of support, but over here, rejection. Here, once again, unfortunately, rejection. This is a nasty looking shooting star candle, a bearish candlestick at the moment. So a candlestick close, a candle close below 360 by October 1st will be a bearish sign. We'll probably see a return to the low 300s to as far, to as low as 290, which would be perfect because that's the top of this double bottom formation. This W-shaped double bottom formation, which is a bullish pattern, but now that we've broken out from there, we're gonna see a pullback just for a retest attempt of this level right over here, of the top of this formation, before seeing potential further upside. So we're probably gonna see a glorious entry on Ethereum in the coming weeks or even months, and it's very important to be prepared for it because that's gonna be a fantastic opportunity for any bargain buyer, anyone who wanted to buy above 400, well, buying below 300 would be spectacular, all the same. So really important to just focus on this level. And at the same time, whenever we see strong sell side momentum towards the downside, we could even wick down below 290, down below the 300s into the upper 200s of maybe even 270. It's very important to just understand that volatile sell side momentum will produce wicks into lower buy orders and a lot of volatility will occur at that period. But it's important to note that these are opportunities that are being presented to us and it's important to have that capital preserved until that opportunity arises. And having said that, that's about it for today's video update. Thank you so much for checking out the video, for tuning in. Please consider dropping a like and of course subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. I'm Rex Capital and I'll speak to you in the next one. Speak soon.